Hello everyone. Today we will see how to integrate AWS CloudWatch with Grafana. So our AWS CloudWatch is monitoring service that provides real-time insights into AWS resource space performance and health. And Grafana has enhanced monitoring capabilities. So integrating CloudWatch with Grafana, user gains deeper insights, track metrics in real time and can create a dynamic dashboard. So first we will see its prerequisites. So you should have an account of AWS with permission to access AWS CloudWatch metrics. Then you should have an Ubuntu EC2 instance of Grafana installed and running. Then you should have AWS RDS instance up and running. So first we will log into the Grafana page. Then in second step, we will configure CloudWatch data source in Grafana. Then we will create a new dashboard in Grafana. We will monitor the AWS EC2 instance in Grafana. And also we monitor AWS RDS in Grafana. So let's move to the practical. As you can see, I already have my AWS EC2 instance running and I also have my AWS RDS instance running. So let's start the Grafana. For that, we will copy the public IPv4 address of our EC2 instance. and copy it in search url colon 3000 which is a default port num number for grafana hit enter now you can see the grafana welcome page the default username for grafana is admin and password is also admin Login. Okay. It will ask you to change your password. You can change your password or you can just skip the step. So, this is the main screen of the Grafana. So, let's start with the practical. First, in the left upside corner go to the home page then go to the connections here you need to select the data sources option click on add data source and in the search bar search for cloudwatch Select CloudWatch as our data source. As you can see, data source is added. Now here you need to give the connection details. Select the authentication provider as access and secret key. You need to generate your access key ID and secret access key from IAM user of your AWS instance. So I already have it. So I just copy it. Give the access key ID. Then copy the secret key. And paste it. Now you need to choose the default region, which is AP South 1. You need to choose your AWS EC2 running instance region. Now click on the Save and Test button. 
you can see the successfully correct the CloudWatch matrix API and successful correct the CloudWatch logs API. So our CloudWatch is successfully correct. Now let's get back to the main screen. This time in the left side home corner. Go into the dashboards. Select the create dashboard option. Then select add visualization as data source select CloudWatch and as you can see there is no data now we run need to run the query so in the query corner select the namespace aws ec2 then choose the matrix name as cpu utilization we'll keep the statistic average you can select maximum minimum or some sample count any you want then add the dimensions choose the instance id as our dimension then we will choose the instance id so just go back to your AWS instance and copy the instance ID and paste it. Now run the query. So you can monitor the data for your AWS EC2 instance. It's showing it in the time series format. There are many visualization options like bar chart. You can view it in a bar chart. Then there's also dodge statistics. So now let's see for AWS RDS instance. Again, we will select the AWS RDS as a namespace then matrix name is same cpu utilization so we'll keep the static as it is then in dimensions we will choose db instance identifier in the name of the instance which is mysql1 then we will run the query and as you can see it will show the data for RDS instance. It can also show it in other formats. You can visualize it in time series or bar chart, anyone you want. So that's how AWS CloudWatch with Grafana provides a powerful solution for monitoring and visualizing AWS resources. Users can set up integration import pre-configured dashboards and customize them this helps in identify and addressing issue and optimizing performance that's all for today thank you